Alright, good morning everyone. So welcome back to another video of my, my lab Marine software. Uh, so today we are going to talking about the how to create a uh, subsymptom and what is the advantage and the disadvantage when we uh, when we are create a subsymptom when we are working with a large project. And uh, first one we will see the so the last time that for the fourth video in Vietnamese, we are going to learn the basic how to the the setup the directory of uh, Simulink and uh, the part uh, two or four and three, uh, we learn about the string and sort library, the math uh, operation library and um, a continuous uh, library. So today we are going to um, to talking about the how to create a uh, subsystem. Uh, so first, we we, uh, we can open Simlink by clicking by in the uh, Simlink here, and then we can create a blank model by clicking blank model here, and we can save it, save it uh, to new project. So for example, oh, I will save in the this folder, this folder, and create a name Simlink. And it will name it to the create the sub symptom, for example. So, for example, we have the uh, motto, the project. Uh, so, for example, we have the one project here. Uh, we will say this is for the the motto and the inventor. So to create a subsymptom in the MATLAB Simulink 2021, uh, you can click about the right click and you choose the create. And now you will see the um, you choose here and you create a subsymptom here. For example, and here we will see I will rename it to the inventor. For example, so here actually you can create another subsystem. Uh, for example, the output. Okay, so here we can create another one called the control. The control, the controller, and then outside we can create a subsystem, or you can tie it the subsystem here, and then you rename it to the input. For example, okay. So now, when uh, another uh, or you uh, reopen this uh, from um, another day, or you transfer it to another college or the friends, uh, we will see a very uh, logical uh, one project. Uh, and then another one we can choose is from here. You can open it here. And we will see in the model browser here, you see all the subsystems of uh, all of the project here. For example, we have the four subsystems controller, input, inventor, and output here. And also, we can change the format. I will choose it. You can choose it. Uh, um, uh, whatever color you want. Yes. And then uh, you see the uh, how uh, the logical uh, the will be for the uh, project. Okay, so uh, in summarize, we have two way to get some symptom. So the first one, we will uh, choose the particular uh, area and you click on the subsystem, or the other one you can tie the subsystem here and you choose it. 
Okay, so let me turn now for the uh, another example here. So here we have the um, sense list control for BRC project. So as I mentioned earlier before, so we have the uh, when I open this project, we will see um, right now. So we have the BRC prime symptom, sub symptom, and we have the frequent sub symptom, and here we will see the input of uh, BRC project. So let's dip in about the BRC drive subsystem here. We also can see about the uh, all the subsystem item in the model browser here. Uh, we will see it uh, uh, um, all the subsystem and inside the subsystem inside here. So for example, I will click on the BRC in this one. So we we are in the BRC drive system here. And uh, if you want to go to directly uh, one sub symptom, for example, back in observer, you can click on the uh, model browser here. Uh, my lab so we will uh, go directly to the particular uh, sub symptom here. Uh, and then another advantage uh, we can uh, click, right click, open in the new tab. So, so here we will see another tab here from uh, BRC project. We can, we can choose. It's all. It's like the uh, the Chrome tab. You can easily uh, transfer between the sub symptom uh, and um, a model also. So for overall, we uh, the sub symptom makes the our project makes it very it's beautiful and very logical to uh, when we see it again. So, um, okay, so I hope uh, this is a summary for the video. I hope you um, know how to uh, create a subsystem and um, we will apply this to a particular project. So, thank you very much for your time and uh, your watching, and I hope to see you in another video again. So, thank you and goodbye.